If you feel that prosperity is out of reach, what's standing in the way? Well, more than half of surveyed Americans say it's simply a matter of not feeling confident managing their finances. Finance expert and Intuit spokesperson Tiffany Aliche is here with more. Tiffany, good morning to you. Good morning, Alex. Great to have you on. So walk us through the findings of this survey about Americans and how they feel about their finances. Well, first I want to say that Intuit believes that everyone deserves to live a life of prosperity. And so they commissioned this survey and this study because they wanted to see Americans and their walk toward prosperity. What did that look like? So the study found that four out of five Americans felt like prosperity was out of reach. Prosperity meaning living the life that you want. Because of this, these same Americans are delaying things like buying a home, retiring, starting a family, even getting married. When those are all essential, you know, life milestones that, that you know, aren't necessarily uh, necessary for everybody, but certainly a lot of Americans want that to happen. What's standing in, in their way? Well, nearly half of Americans surveyed and studied, they found that things like race, gender, ethnicity, even sexual orientation standing in their way, and also the economy. Despite the fact that there's a little bit of a boom right now in the economy, Americans still feel like the economy is a big barrier to success and prosperity. We have this 3% around increase in the economy right now, but really it's not painting the full picture because the full picture is that people still don't feel fully comfortable comfortable, 55% of Americans, to be fully transparent, still don't feel comfortable about managing their own finances. But it's not all doom and gloom. Thankfully, 80% of those same Americans do feel like financial success is in their future. Yep, it just takes, you know, taking the right steps, finding the right help, of course, using uh, the right services, the right platform, and, and of course, finding experts that can help you through it. So what else should we be doing uh, in order to achieve these goals? Here are a few things. One, manage your finances. Two, start a business or become self-employed. Three, maintain an optimistic can-do attitude. Let's talk about the business part for a moment, right? So starting a business is a pipeline to prosperity, so much so that one in three Americans are actually considering starting a business because they see that too. And business owners are twice as likely to feel more prosper prosperous than those who are not. Very good point. Any final comments you want to leave us with before we let you go? Yes, let's continue the conversation. Use the hashtag prosperity for all on social media. And if you want to get the results of this study, go to intuit.com slash prosperity study. Tiffany Aliche with some very good advice about American prosperity. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you, Alex. You're watching The Morning Blend.